All right, here's a size comparison so you can get a feel for the size of the uh, Odenwolf W machete, which is in the middle, okay? So this is my beloved Condor Hudson Bay. This knife is about 13 and a quarter inches long, eight and a half inch blade, weighs about 15 ounces. The W machete is about uh, 16 and three quarter inches long, weighs 20 ounces, and the blade itself is close to 10 inches long. It's over maybe about nine and three quarters. And this is just for comparison. This is um, the uh, sow catcher, the Odin Wolf sow catcher. And uh, this is a nine inch blade weighs less than 11 ounces i think it's like 10.8 10.9 ounces and um overall i think this one was just over 14 like 14 and a quarter so and then we'll show you if i can do it here with one hand the width of these knives or the thickness of the blade look at that w machete that's somewhere around 0.2 inches thick and uh, there's the sow catcher. So <laughs> quite a significant difference there in uh, blade thickness. And these are all full tang blades, okay? The uh, W machete, it's a hidden tang. Sow catcher's a hidden tang, but this is a full tang. So this tang comes all the way through to the uh, lanyard hole there, okay? So... Just a size comparison so you can get an idea of the uh, the heft of that W machete. I love chopping with this one, but <laughs> I think I'm going to really... Yeah, I'm going to really love chopping with this one. Hey guys, Common Sense Outdoorsman. So I am an Odin Wolf affiliate. And there will be a discount uh, code and their website in the description uh, box. So you can uh, get a 10% discount uh, off of Odinwood, uh, Odin Wolf uh, site. Um, the discount code is CCO10, CCO10. Now, this is their W machete, okay? And <laughs> I'm kind of excited to, to use this knife. But this, to me, they call it the W machete, but this, to me, is, is, is a heavy, it's really, it's a heavy machete. And uh, it's for a heavier, when I think of machete, you know, I think of clearing brush and light type of stuff. This is for heavier, heavier work. And it's made from the same materials as the W catcher and the sow catcher. It has the... Um, um, I believe it's the sheath is made out of, um, uh, polypropylene and then the handle is, uh, TPE. Okay. And this is a full tang knife, but, uh, let me, let me just talk about the sheath, which I like very much. So a, uh, polypropylene material for the sheath. It's got a nice heavy duty nylon um, belt loop that you can, you know, open it up and put it over your belt, just like the, uh, the catcher knives. Okay. And uh, the uh, nylon belt loop is not removable from the sheath. The sheath holds the knife very well clicks in there. I mean, if you shake, it's a heavy knife. It's 20 ounces. You can shake it out of there, but um, you do have the retention strap, which works just fine. Um, and then, you know, you could attach this sheath to your gear any way you want. It does have the uh, holes and the molly loops if you want to put it on your vest or a pack or however you want to do it. But I think that's a very nice, a very nice uh, combo here. Okay, and it works just fine. But um, 
let's put this sheath aside and let's talk about this knife. This to me, uh, with the size of this knife, it, to me, it's like a fro. It's like a wood splitting tool. Okay. More than it is a machete. And it's also a, a chopping tool. I, I would say D2 steel. I'm not sure what it, the HRC is. Um, hopefully it's not too high. Maybe it's around, you know, I think for a tool like this for D2, somewhere around 59 would be good. Um, but I'm not sure what the HRC is. Uh, interesting point to make is it has your rear section of the cutting blade is a different grind. It is a more acute grind. I don't know if you could see that just for about maybe, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inch uh, area. If you can see that, I think you can. Okay. It's a more acute grind. So it's a um, slighter edge for doing more of that close up fine work when you're using this. Okay. So I thought that was a nice touch of them to do that. And this, that's about 0.2 inch thick d2 steel so it's that's close to five millimeter and it carries out that thickness uh pretty much throughout the entire length of the blade and it has a nice big flat here the grind is is a flat grind so altogether this is like a, a saber ground knife and uh yeah it's it's got a good thick sturdy edge for for hard work okay and i know a lot of people will say hey you know d2 isn't my favorite for hard work it's not the toughest steel around and that may be true but I, i've got a lot of videos i've worked with a lot of d2 steel and done right it can be tough enough and do very well so we'll see um what happens with this knife i think it's going to do very well it does have some jimping there the jimping is fine if, if uh, to me a jim i can take it or leave the the jimping it's not uh you know it's not rough or anything like that so it um yeah that jimping is is okay the handle let's talk about the handle very comfortable handle and i like the fact that it has different hand holds you can go all the way up to the front you can go back there you can put your pinky over the hook in the back for if you wanted more swinging uh chopping power either way it feels very comfortable i actually think this knife is so long it's um um almost 17 inches long i probably that would probably might be my best chopping position right there but if you wanted to back up a little bit put your pinky over the um the hook there and uh get more swinging power you could do that so yeah i like the handle you can see they jimped um the tpe material there it's got some grooves in there you got a lanyard hole you've got some nice um grooves on the pommel of the knife the odin wolf logo very well done i really like this handle good size fills your hand many different hand holds i think i'm gonna like using that handle and I'm glad that they didn't make this straight down. I do like a point on my knives, even my larger ones. So you can get stabby with that. And it is a strong tip. So it'll take care of some stabby work as well as, give, as giving you plenty of strength and toughness for when you're doing that uh, chopping. So, yeah, I, I was looking forward to a, uh, a heavy chopper. And, and that's what this is. This is a a, a heavy chopper slash uh you know camp type knife to do a lot of different camp chores so yeah so there's the w machete and uh let's see what should we do let's go chop down a tree i'm going to try holding it that way first
let's rip that apart since it wants to come apart. And I do feel you can where the hook is, you can feel it a little bit up against your, your pinky finger. So, you know, go for the gloves if you need them. Got debris coming down on me. And I'm just chopping it right at the same spot. It's hooked up above. Well, so much for rotten trees. All right, let's finish this off anyways. These old dried up aspens, they almost, and this one is, you can feel, how, hear how hard that is. So they, they just get to a point here in dry Colorado like they're petrified, so they can get fairly tough. I'm trying to watch my swing because I don't want that knife to go through and then swing towards me. So I'm using a little common sense here. And when you have a blade this big, you kind of use it as a drawer knife. And yeah, see, when I use that more acute edge, it really, really wants to dig in there. Yeah, pretty good. And then of course, with a knife like this, you know, you gotta do the inevitable but yeah, I think this is where this thing is going to excel. Yeah. I mean, I can tell this thing, because it's fairly, it's a thick knife, it's just kind of blows the wood apart. And again, this is that same petrified aspen and we'll go bigger a little bigger piece a little, a little knotty but it is fairly sturdy and yeah it just goes blows right through those knots no problem I would not hesitate take care of large pieces of firewood at all
with the Odin Wolf W machete. Yeah, pretty much gonna be able to baton what you want. Here's a down pine. Let's uh, see what happens if we take this in half. It's a little, little softer because it's a freshly downed pine. See what happens. And I think it's much more comfortable with my glove on. Chopping a little easier because I don't want to swing it into my leg. Safety first. Yeah, it is quite a biting dis, uh, difference when you use this more acute edge closer to the handle. So yeah, you can definitely make some feathers. And that's what that's for if you need to.
All right, guys, so the W machete, what do I think of it? I like it. I would recommend it. Um, I threw it around, as you can see. It wasn't a, a display of skills, and I'm really, I'm, I'm just testing things. And so I threw this knife quite a few times at that huge tree, and I don't know if you can see it, but the handle is kind of boogered up a little bit, and... Um, yeah, my skills at knife throwing is um, really unpracticed. And the idea wasn't to make a great video and stick it, but just to beat this knife up a little bit. And what I did was on a few of those throws, that tip, it, it stuck deep in the ground. And one of them, yeah, of course, it hit a rock. And you can see uh, the blade, the edge around the tip area there is all boogered up. So I didn't show any mercy on it. And that right there is easily fixed. And that is also that kind of damage is to be expected uh, when you're throwing a knife um, into a rock. That's what happens. But um, yeah, the W machete more of a heavy camp knife, heavy chopper, fro type of blade, um, you know, used for clearing heavier um, brush than, uh, you know, machete stuff in, in a jungle. You could use it for that, but um, um, it's a heavier knife, 20 ounces. Um, the handle was much more comfortable with my glove on. And I usually use a glove. I, I say, hey, protect your hands, guys. I've had a lot of hand injuries in my day. And it's if you're out there and you have to rely on your hands, yeah, you want to protect them. That's just smart. So I usually am wearing some kind of gloves, leather gloves, you know, whatever, when I'm working with a large knife like this. it's. I think it's just a good idea. But personal preference, of course. So, um, yeah. The W machete. I like it. That's a big dang tree.